What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Josh and we back at it again on the Kicks and Bricks channel. Hey y'all, I just finished uh, recording a, a comparison video for the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 Dream of Worlds. Go ahead and check that video out. I think y'all like it. Pretty dope. But since I've been doing a lot of sneaker reviews here lately, decided to take a just a quick short intermission from the sneaker reviews and do a Lego time lapse build. I've got a backlog of Legos I'm trying to work down, so I said, hey, might as well knock one out. So and before we get to that, thank y'all for watching the channel. Thank y'all for clicking like, clicking the subscribe, hitting that notification bell. Your boy appreciates it much, you know what I'm saying? Because without that, the channel wouldn't exist. I, you know, I, I would have cut it short real quick and just uploaded time lapses of the Legos and that's pretty much it. No commentary, nothing like that. Not even on the Lego time lapses, just straight up time lapses. So, but again, thank y'all for watching the videos, y'all. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. Well, today's Lego build is a part of the Technic series. I'm, you know, Technics are definitely a little challenging because of the tiny little pieces, so many of them. And then, you know, you're sitting there, you're grabbing them with your fingertips and putting them to, you know, hey, they're definitely a challenge. So, so today's Lego set that I'm gonna put together is the Lego Technic Boom Porsche 911 GSR, or excuse me, RSR, right here. This thing right here, it looks pretty dope. Hopefully, uh, when I put it together, it'll look, it'll look even more greater with the rest of them that I have on the wall. I have a whole bunch on my wall mounted. It looks like it's only 1,500 pieces. Let's see how long it takes me to get this one done. But yep, I'm excited to get it done and get it built. I think this is the, gonna be the oldest, uh, excuse me, as far as releases, the oldest, Lego Technic build that I've done. So let's see how it is. See if it, you know, it got better or it just got worse because I've done the newer Technic supercars, the bigger cars and whatnot, and they were definitely busy, but they weren't too bad. So, all right, y'all, enough of me uh, flapping my uh, lips over here. Let's get straight to this Lego time build that we're about to knock out. All right, y'all, Porsche 911 down on the table in front of the camera. Time for the time lapse. Let's get it.
All right, y'all. Well, here we got the Lego Technic Porsche 911 RSR racing car. And I will let y'all know right now, this is probably my least favorite Technic build. And I'll explain why. First thing is that it has very, very minimal features to it. The hood doesn't open up. The back does okay, but it's got a weak engine to pay. I'll, I'll show you here in a second. You got a weak engine compartment back here. Um, the uh, the motor, it's like very small, not compared to the other ones where it's beefy and all that. And it's only got one seat in it. The steering wheel at least works. I mean, it looks good, but the features on it definitely are lacking. So. Let me uh, show y'all what I was talking about, about that engine compartment. See that right there? Let me see. Uh, yeah, you see? The engine compartment's lacking. Very small engine. Not even worth showcasing. The only thing that moves is that, okay? Then, the doors are pretty dope. Um, you know, pretty simple Technic doors that open and close. Wheels are generic. The only thing, other thing that was kind of cool is the way they try to put these headlights in. But that's all they do is just open headlights like that. Nothing really uh, crazy or gimmicky anyway. Got this thing up in the front that just sticks out like this for no reason. Don't know why, but yeah, sticks out. The hood doesn't even open, see? And plus the engine's not even there anyway. That doesn't open. And then the most least favorite thing about this build was, I'll show you here in a minute, but check it out. Got the 3D printed wall mount. So um, my least, you know, very thing, you know, the, actually I would say, I should say it bothered me too much. So as I opened the box, I was looking for numbered bags. But guess what this set doesn't have? Numbered bags. Look. Look at that. That's all the bags. And, oh wait, no, it's not. And you know, with Lego sets, to build, it comes with numbered bags. Now, I'm not saying I didn't accept the challenge and build it. It was just a real, like, what the hell type moment. And the fact that we didn't have any numbered bags and it took that you know that much more longer too to build i mean i still built it like in let's see uh i want to say something close to like six seven hours but still that's not the point i definitely could have done it way faster than that had i had my standard issue numbered bags from lego so i'm not even gonna bag that up right now i'll wait till after this but yeah this is probably my least favorite techno technique build uh, from Lego. Um, it looks good, hands down. It looks good. It's not a bad looking build, but I'm just really not, you know, like not a fan of the minimal amount of features and the out of the nowhere no bags, no number bags. So. All right, y'all, well, let me know what y'all thought about the time lapse and the review of this Lego uh, Technic Porsche 911. It's gonna go up in the wall next to my other ones. So you guys will see that here later when I take a picture after I mount them all and go from there. So, all right, y'all, let's get back in front of this camera, get our final thoughts and comments about this build so we can finish the video and take it from there. All right, y'all, let's get it. All right, y'all, well, that was the time-lapse and review of the Porsche 911 RSR Technic. Lego Technic Porsche 911 RSR. Again, this is just a little disappointing as far as, and of course, it's the, one of the older builds, so maybe that, that's, that's how they used to, back in the, used to do it back in the day. But as of right now, yeah, I wasn't too happy with it. Definitely a little bit disappointing challenging for sure because man i had this whole table just spread open 
with nothing but you know lego pieces and but you know the most common ones you know the little connecting drawers I, I left them in bags and i just grabbed them out as i needed them you know but for the most part looks good not a definite definitely not a bad looking build but pain in the <laughs> to put together and i just wish they had more features but again it's an older build so it probably didn't have that many features in the back in the day when they started to put these things together so all right y'all well let me know in the comment section what you thought about the video let me know if uh you want me to keep putting together these lego techniques i think i got one more Porsche 911, excuse me, not Porsche 911, the Ford, the, this year's Ford GT. Um, hopefully, it's a lot better than this build. Hopefully. And uh, let me know what y'all thought about the time lapse. Let me know if y'all like them. If y'all, you know, keep, want me to keep pumping them out, and I'll keep doing them. So, all right. Well, again, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for sticking through it. And as always, it's your boy Josh. We on the Kicks and Bricks channel. Keep it locked in. And until next time, holla at your boy.